Today, we're going to look at a condo that's listed for sale in South Austin. Ken is a listing agent on it, and they've been trying to figure out why they haven't been able to find a buyer yet. It's about two miles from downtown Austin on South Lamar, which means it's about a five minute drive and about a 30 to 40 minute walk to Zilker Park or the Ann and Roy Butler hike and bike trails. Maybe we can help you figure out why he hasn't been able to find a buyer yet. Remember, this is South Austin, so we do need to capture the vibe. Itself, 60, so units. 60 units. The first phase of it was built in 09. The first 9 to 12 units were built in 2009. The, the balance of them were built in 2012. And then directly across that blue bonnet, there's a brand new, brand new which construction. Is, is comparable, but those units are tend to be smaller, I think. They tend to be smaller. Square footage wise. That's right. You know what we can do? We'll just start upstairs and kind of work our way back down. One of the things that's a non-negotiable when you're listing properties, especially vacant properties, is find a tremendous staging partner. I've worked with Georgia Manhire. She's incredible. So she did a lot of the staging within a day, and we talked about the concepts of light and area. When you're showing a modern place, you have to show it with some modern features. HOA at $400 a month is nowhere close to what you'd pay in a high rise downtown. Correct. But on the other hand, that literally covers everything, right? No yard work, no... No yard work. Yeah. It covers trash. Then you have to pay some utilities here, but as far as the water and stuff and the lawn stuff, it's all done by the Water's HOA. included as well, okay. That's yeah, a plus. Yeah. So basically your utilities would be electricity and gas then. It's and pretty much electricity, uh, internet. Uh, I think the owners pay a small portion of the water for what they use, but gotcha. they don't pay for the water outside. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. It's a nice unit. Of course, the question that you're trying to figure out is that a unit like this, even though it appears to be priced within the market range. It sure appears to be. Or you haven't seen enough interest to actually find a new owner. No, that's right. Um, a little under 800 for a three bedroom condo yes. in South Austin versus $800,000 to buy something else. What other options would someone have if they're in that price range? I feel like somebody that's a 750 to 800 buyer can afford more. They have the luxury to say, if we just went up a little bit or mm -hmm. we decided to put our efforts towards a condo that's closer to downtown, mm -hmm. even though we give up the little space, they have the bandwidth to do it. <music> someone who doesn't live in Austin, they may not realize, but if you go north of that river, you can get into a condo. You're going to be up. As you move south of the river, the buildings aren't nearly as high. That's a good point because there's a view corridor. If you and I took off and walked up South Lamar up towards the city, you'll notice it's starting to change. So that's what's happening. This whole area is in transition. It's a beautiful condo and uh, I'm sure that it's just a matter of continued patience until that right next that's, owner is going to that, discover that's this. it that's exactly who knows right. they may be out here watching right now to... they could be they could be <laughs> if you'd like to know more about this listing or if you're interested in touring it yourself just give me a call and i can set up a private showing also if you'd like to learn more about south austin you might want to check out this video